Hi everybody, it's Alex here again with another video today. Um, I'm going to let you in on one of my fears, and you're going to think this is a mad fear, but one of my fears is washing my vintage clothes. Not just so much my vintage clothes, but like my delicates or anything that's, you know, a bit of an iffy fabric, things that are not just like a cotton t-shirt that I can just throw in the wash and I know are going to come out fine at the end. The reason why this is a fear is because a lot of my stuff is vintage and... It's irreplaceable and I'm very attached to it, which is probably a little bit weird, but I love it to pieces and I know that I can't replace it. So the other weekend I was looking on YouTube for some tips and hints about, not so much about fabrics, but for people just to talk about their, their vintage clothing um, and tell me what they do because I don't know whether what I do is 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 the best and it's, you know, it's always good to, to hear some information from someone else. So basically I'm going to show you, I've got a pile of clothes here and I'm going to go through some of them. Some of them are vintage, some of them are not, some of them are just delicate. Um, and just tell you, I'm not going to talk about fabrics or anything like that, um, like not in great detail, I'm not going to be like, oh this is 90% this and 50% that or whatever. Um, I'm just going to talk about the clothes, you know, tell me kind of what they are and tell you how I wash them um, or clean them. So anyway, let's get started. My first one is a dress I wore yesterday, oops, to a christening and I've just dropped the coat hanger. I just, I washed this last night when I came home because I danced up a storm with those children so I was a bit yucky and sweaty. So this is just, this is a vintage, somewhat of a maxi dress. On me it comes down to just above my ankle so it's a nice little length for me. Um, and it's got the, you know, the little detail up there and it's just, to me it looks like a Pac-Man design but it's just like a cotton fabric. I actually got this from Pop Boutique in Liverpool. Um, I just throw this in the wash. I wash all my dresses singly on their own um, which I know my mum hates back home but I love to wash them individually um, but yeah so that's it there and this is just one that I just throw in the wash. Okay my next one is one of my pride and joy, pride and joy dresses. Um, this is again from Pop Boutique and I actually funnily enough bought it the same day I bought this one. Just going to put that down there. Um, this is a very delicate handmade um, dress and it's got this gorgeous, see the gorgeous like green it's layered fabric I guess you could call it because it's like a satin underneath. Um, you can tell it's handmade by all the inside of it. Now cringe if you must but I don't actually wash this dress at all. I don't put it in the washing machine, I won't hand wash it because I fear that the green will probably run um, into the satiny fabric because it doesn't look like it's ever sort of been washed. So basically I wear this dress, I bring it home, um, I use my favourite thing in the whole entire world that actually Michael introduced me to which is this little baby. Fabrice fabric, uh, for fabric. I use this on a lot of my dresses. Anyone that I use it on, I'll tell you when I put them through. Um, and then I just hang it up and let it air. Um, yeah. So sometimes I steam it a little bit as well just to get the scent out, but I never wash it. I steam it with an iron as well. I don't have a very expensive steamer. I might do a little demo on that. Whether I do it the right way or not, I don't know, but it seems to freshen up my clothes. Um, so yeah, that's it there my pride and joy. I don't, the fabric, the green is really um, like a delicate fabric. It gets stuck in everything and breaks so that's why I don't wash this dress. My next dress is, oops, they're all coming off their hangers which is a bit annoying but anyway. Um, this next dress is a wood chip boutique dress. So this is a handmade dress. I'll show you the wood chip boutique. Now I do wash this dress. I put it in individually. It's just like a cotton um, it's nothing, the fabric's nothing too exciting. I did fear that it would run, but it doesn't. So, yeah, just chuck that one in the wash. This is another vintage one. Okay, so this is like a satin dress, or satin feel, and it's got the really intricate pleats in it. Now, again, I don't wash this dress, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't wash this dress, one, because I know for a fact that it's never been washed um, and I fear that the green is such a you know volatile colour that it may run into the white because they are two separate pieces of material. Um, also being a satin I fear washing it because I know that when you wash stuff like that it goes a little bit, it goes funny and you've got to iron it a certain way and I'm not good with the iron. I have another satin dress back home which I love um, and I know that my mum washes it and then she sort of like steams it or irons it but she knows how to do it properly so I don't run the risk of doing it. So again, this is a Febreze job, you know, under the armpits, all over the dress, basically so that it's wet, it's, it's damp and then I just hang it up and let it sort of dry in the breeze. I've never steamed this one and I probably wouldn't. My next one is another satiny fabric. This is a top that's a vintage one. 
There it is. Again, don't wash this one. Bit of Febreze all over. Hang it up. This is another one I would not steam. Um, just, I just fear that I'm going to ruin them and I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Okay. This is my Christmas Day dress. It is a really cool 1980s, probably, I should think that this was like a bridesmaid's dress or something with the really puffy sleeves. It was originally at one time long and it has just been cut off and hemmed. So you can see, see that it's just, see it's just been roughly cut. I didn't do it, I actually bought it like this. It's just been roughly cut along there and then this bit has been hemmed. Okay, so again with this one, I don't wash it. I've only ever worn it once. Um, it's kind of an event dress. Um, I definitely wear it again, don't get me wrong. But I think this is the dress I'm wearing in my picture, my like my profile picture. Um, if I needed to wash this dress, I would probably get it dry cleaned. I've never had anything dry cleaned. Um, but I probably would just get it dry cleaned because I don't wear it that often. It's 100% polyester I think it is um, so I probably could just chuck it in the washing machine but I don't run the risk of it um, because this has just been roughly cut I don't know if it would all like start to fray or not um, so yeah if I ever needed to get this cleaned I'd probably get it dry cleaned but I definitely wear it a few other times but what I do is I basically just come home take the dresses off and hang them up and let them out so that's that this is another little vintage one um, this one has like a, it's not suede, but it's like a suede feel, bottom, and like a satin top. Um, I've never washed this. I probably could just throw it in the washing machine, um, but I never ever have. Again, this is a Febreze number. I do have a bloody pen stain somewhere in here. So you have a pen mark on here. So if anyone knows how I get a pen mark out of a suede, like feeling piece of fabric could you please let me know because I couldn't believe it when I did that but yeah again Febreze hang it up take it off as soon as I get home um and let it air okay so this is a hand another handmade thing this is from a company called Alamo uh, my friend actually owns and runs this company and makes all these and designs them herself so this is a handmade little cape which I love. It's got this gorgeous lining in there and it's got a big blonde hair on there. Why do I get blonde hair everywhere? I, the only blonde I know is Michael's mum, so I don't really... Well, it's not the only one I know, but the only one I come in contact with regularly. Um, there's the inside of it. I don't wash this um, for the obvious reasons. Uh, oh, God, there's a big bit of fabric that's coming undone there. That's really not very good. Anyway, um, I don't wash this for obvious reasons. I would probably get this dry cleaned. Um, I do... I wore this all through, like or like winter, end of winter, uh, start of winter, end of winter, um, and I don't, yeah, I've never washed this, I've embraced it a few times, but I'll probably just get it dry cleaned, as I said, it's handmade, um, and it's also very bulky, so I wouldn't want to wash it because I think that it would lose its shape, I have steamed this before, um, and it does, you know, steam it with the iron, and it does steam quite nicely. So my next two are more around fabric. One's vintage and one's brand new. So for all you think, people that think I'm an animal hater, you know, this is going to feed your passion. Um, I have two leather numbers here. Whoops. I don't fall off my chair. Okay, I've got two leather numbers. And yes, one of them is a leather dress. I'll show you my leather jacket first, which is, it's new leather. I got this um, in 2009 when, um... Well, when leather first became popular that I can remember, like I know it's been, you know, obviously the 80s and everything like that, um, but this is when it sort of first became popular for me in Australia. Now, the key with leather is, obviously, you can't wash it. That's quite obvious. Um, I drop things on this, and it's just a matter of wiping them off, just getting, like, a damp cloth with just water. I use it. Don't use any leather cleaner or anything like that. Just a bit of water. As soon as it drops on there, normally, because it'll just sit on the top. It won't sort of soak in. Um, I sometimes turn it inside out and give the inside, because it's lined inside, a tiny bit of a Febreze, but the Febreze does say do not use on leather, so I never use it on the actual leather. Um... I don't know if you can get leather dry cleaned. You probably can, maybe. If anyone knows, tell me below. Um, so what I do is I just, you've got to let leather breathe. Um, I found that out the hard way when I once found my dad's leather jacket and it was 
you know, mouldy and horrible. Um, so I will quite often take, I mean, I do have my rack behind me, but my leather, my leathers don't sit on that. My leathers sit in my cupboard because I don't want them to get dusty because I find that the dust makes them go a little funny. Um, so they sit in there. So I bring them out every so often. There's a few things in there that I don't wear often. Um, that I bring out just for an air every so often because I don't want them to start to, to smell musky or anything like that because again a lot of them are like leather where you can't wash them um, so again I just bring it out for an air every so often obviously I wear it um, it gets better every time I wear it and my other one is my leather dress which is again just the same principle whoops I've only ever worn this once um, I intend to wear this to Michael's sister's Hindu, so I need to get in a little bit better shape because she's she's very tight, <laughs> very tight. Not the most uh, practical of all outfits that I own. <laughs> Let's just say that. But she, yeah, she's she's very tight. She's very sweet. Um, but yeah, that's her there. Yeah, again, I give it. She's got a lining inside which I will turn inside out and Febreze every so often. Um, only very lightly Febreze it though. Um, bring her out to air, wear her. What I do is I also, before I put her on, I'll put her in the bathroom um, when someone's having a really hot shower so that she can, you know, start to to uh, to expand a little bit and I find that's very nice and normally I'll do that again when I when I've taken her off um, just so she can get basically it's like steaming but a very like in a steam room I guess um, so yeah that's her and that's it that's all the fabrics I, I sort of have so basically I don't wash a lot of them unless I'm like unless they're just like a cotton um, I don't just throw them in the washing machine and, you know not give two hoots about them um, sometimes I hand wash things and spin them in the dryer sometimes I hand wash things and just hang them up. Every single one of my dresses and jackets and t-shirts and things like that, when I take them out of the dryer, I hang them on a coat hanger because therefore I don't have to iron them. And some of the things, I, as I said, I'm not a big ironer and I don't know all the settings of an iron and I've seen too many bad cases of, of things being melted on iron. I've done it before myself. So I prefer not to iron things. So I always just hang them up. I will do a little DIY on how I steam um, my clothes with the, with the iron because I can't afford a steamer. So that's it. Um, I hope this has been somewhat helpful. If you've got any tips and hints of how you look after your clothes, whether they be vintage or not, leave them in the comments below because I'd really love to know because as I said, I couldn't find any other YouTube videos on this. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. So until next time, I'm Alex and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.